Ouch. Ouch. Why it hurt? Ouch, Charlie, that hurt. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing absolutely amazing today. As you can tell by the title of this video, I have been spending way too much money on fall clothes. It doesn't make sense. Someone please remove my wallet. Please just, just take my wallet from me because Amex, they come in for me next month. I have a ton of fall clothing from Aritzia, from Everlane, from a black owned business called Riona, which I am super excited about. I think it's Riona, either Riona, Rihanna, Riona. I think it's Riona. I thrifted some things and I think that's it. We're just gonna get right on into the video. First, I wanna get into this brand that I mentioned. It is black owned and it's called Riona. When I tell y'all, I was so excited when they reached out to me and gifted me with these items because I actually saw them, I wanna say on Natural Nisi's page. She bought like a couple items from them and I had actually been following them prior to that and I didn't realize I was. First off, Look at, oh, oh, okay, oh, great, okay. First off, their packaging is so cute. This box, I'm keeping, I'm reusing, and it's it's just, it's this cute beige color with simple black letters, and they sent me a handwritten note just, you know, hoping that I enjoy these pieces, and trust me, sis. I'm gonna enjoy these pieces. Oh my gosh, I didn't even realize there's a message. Y'all can't see this, but there's a message in the bottom of the box as well that says this is 100% recyclable and compost, or the bag is compostable. The first piece that I picked out from them is this white cardigan, and it is a cropped cardigan as well. It'll probably come pretty low on me just because I'm short, but it has a V-neck right here and there are clear buttons all the way down. I feel like cropped button-up cardigans worn as shirts is very in right now. I love the concept of wearing this by itself as a shirt. And if I wanted to, I could also throw it on over a cami or a tank top or something of that sort to just keep my arms warm if I did wanna wear it as a true cardigan. And the quality of this, when I tell y'all this is not a cheap item, like this, the quality is pretty thick. I can't wait to rock this with like some, some nude or tan colored uh, slacks or some high waist jeans or even some sweatpants. That can pretty much go with anything. And speaking of slacks, I also picked out these slacks from their 2020 collection as well. When I tell y'all, I am in love with these things. At first, I thought they were too oversized for me, but when I put them on and then I put some heels on, threw on a skinny belt with this, this, I don't know, this gives me Rihanna vibes almost. I feel like she would wear something super baggy and oversized like these. I'm not getting them hemmed. I'm not getting them taken in. I'm keeping them as is because the bagginess and the oversizedness of these pants is just so chic. It makes you look like you're about to go to fashion week or something. I don't even know. They did also have a dark chocolate color to this. I decided to go with this more tan color just because I feel like it might go with more things, but I might have to snag the chocolate ones as well. And last from Riona, I got this dress right here. <sighs> I love this and I got a size extra small in this and it is a true extra small. Y'all know I'm 4'10", I'm 100 pounds and for me it's very difficult finding fitted clothing so I can only shop certain brands and this just hugs you in all the right places. You can even see with the way it's sewn it's just like it lines your hips really well. It also is a halter 
dress. So it has like this halter piece right here and that goes behind your neck. And the quality of this is again, just amazing. It's double lined, but each layer by itself is already thick, but then you put it together and it's just, so for this time of year, I'm probably gonna wear this with a nice oversized cardigan and some cute heels. And next, let's get into Aritzia where I really did some damage. All right, we're gonna start with the most expensive thing first because I really can't believe I spent $178 on a dress. However, I'm not gonna lie, I truly think it's worth it. This dress, it's 100% wool, which is why I think it costs so much. This is kind of an oversized midi turtleneck dress. So there are a couple things that really gravitated me toward this dress. First and foremost is the neck. So you can wear it up to where it's a full turtleneck or you can just kind of like let it hang down a little bit to where it's, kind of a turtleneck, but not really. It just kind of slouches on your neck and I love that look. I also really like that the sleeves, not they don't taper, but they're fitted at the bottom of the arm. And also the length of this, I can wear this with knee high boots. I can wear this with like midi boots, like that don't come all the way to my knee, but they're also not ankle boots. And the fact that it has a slit really allows my boots to be able to show. I love the split because I think it adds a little bit more femininity because I love oversized pieces, but I just need elements of a piece to help just make it look a little bit more feminine because I'm so tiny. I really just wanted a super simple staple sweater dress that I could wear all the time. I can dress it up, I can dress it down, I can literally throw this on with some Air Forces or I can throw it on with some heels. I can maybe put a belt around it so that it gives me a little bit more shape. Um, but this is gonna be something that I wear all the time because number one, I paid enough for it, but number two, it's so soft, it's so comfortable, and the quality of it is just, it just makes me feel good. You know when certain clothes, they just make you feel good because the clothes themselves feel good? I don't know if that makes sense, but that's how I feel about this. And next from Aritzia, I got this oversized sweater. The material of this, I actually don't know what the material is, but I love this kind of like wooly feel. It reminds me of a sheep. I feel like this is a sheep, not a sheep, but this reminds me of the feel of a sheep. Um, but yes, this is just an oversized sweater that I can throw on with leggings, I can throw on with skinny jeans, and I feel like everyone needs an oversized tan brown color sweater as a staple in their fall collection. So when I saw this, I immediately snagged it. And next from Aritzia, I got two tanks. These may look very familiar because I already have this in an olive green color or more like a khaki color that I wanna say I included in my first Aritzia haul. And I loved it so much that I grabbed the white one and also the black one. The reason I love this one is because of the racer back and the high neck. And I also just love that it's cropped, but it's not too cropped to where my stomach actually shows in this. So my stomach won't be cold, my midriff won't be showing. Throwing this on with some high waist jeans, a slouchy cardigan and some boots is literally my fall uniform and what I wear probably 90% of the time. And last but definitely not least from Aritzia, I got these long sleeve bodysuits. I got it in white and I'm also wearing the black one right now. But of course, I just think long sleeve basic shirts are paramount for the fall season to just throw these on and be able to go. And this is in the Wilfred Free brand. I thought it was gonna be a little bit more fitted just because I do have the Babaton body suits and the extra, extra small, like they fit, like they are tight on my body. I will say that this one is a little bit looser the sleeves, as you can see, are a little long. I actually really like that, the fact that they're a little long on me. It's just not as fitted as the other ones, but I think that's perfectly fine. They still fit me. 
I'm not gonna return, well, I don't think I can return them even if I wanted to. The Babatons are like double or triple line, like those things, and the material is more of like a spandexy, stretchy material. This definitely just feels like a more simple cotton material, and it's extremely soft. It's not super thick, but I'm fine with that just because in the fall, I'm layering anyways. I think this is kind of the perfect thickness and just kind of the perfect feel of a long sleeve shirt. And from a fit perspective, I do like the way they fit. And next, getting into Everlane, I grabbed their oversized, what's this thing called? Oh, their oversized alpaca crew in an extra, extra small. And the color of this one is almond. I really like oversized sweaters, but I also still needed more fitted sweaters. I just thought this was so nice and simple, just a simple crew neck sweater. From a feel perspective, it's a little itchy. I don't know if it's just me, but it's a little itchy. It's not so itchy or bothersome to the point where it's not comfortable because these are very comfortable, but I get a little itch, a little scratch every now and then. But I liked this so much that y'all already know what I had to do. I had to get it in the black. I just see myself wearing this with like a lot of gold accessories, some black skinny jeans, some black ankle boots, like leather ankle boots and just, such a fall uniform. Yeah, I'm very excited about these two pieces. They're so simple, but I can dress them up, I can dress them down. I have a lot of plans for these two pieces right here. And last but not least, I went thrifting, so I'm gonna show you guys the pieces that I got while thrifting. First, I grabbed these absolutely gorgeous white trousers, and they are Ralph Lauren, Ralph Lauren, however it is you like to say it. Um, but these are just like a winter snow white trouser and they were very big on me. That's the thing about thrifting for me specifically. I just have to go in with the mind that I'm going to have to get things altered because I'm never going to go into a Goodwill and find something like this that fits. I just don't have that kind of luck. And I'm also just way too small. I'm the size of like a 13 year old and 13 year olds generally don't wear clothes like this. So it's understandable why I can't find stuff like this in my size. But I'm so excited to wear these this fall because I love an all white ensemble in the fall or the winter. I don't know if it's just me, but something like this with that white cardigan that I showed you guys earlier or another white sweater, is just going to be absolutely beautiful. I did wanna make sure that they were high-waisted, so I made sure to kind of hold them high on my waist when she was trying to figure out like where to take them in. And as they go down, they're just so baggy and so big. This is gonna be great, really, year round but again especially for this fall season i can definitely see myself wearing this to a holiday party for sure and yes i can't wait to wear these i also grabbed a pair of black trousers as well these are a little bit more structured the white ones are extremely flowy these have a little bit more structure but as you can see they do still flow they're not really stiff or anything and these have really nice pleating on the front and on the back as well again when i got these tailored i made sure to get them high waist so that they would sit up pretty high i can see myself even wearing these with this black shirt that I have on right now, some nice heels, um, a pea coat or like an oversized cardigan, and just being a whole entire five. I think trousers, white, black, and like a neutral tan color are essential for the fall time because, I don't know, they just... They just scream fall to me. I don't know why. And finally in this haul, I thrifted a couple belts. I don't think I ever purchase belts full price if I'm honest. I normally just go to the thrift store to find belts. And I think for the fall time, dark belts are perfect. So first I grabbed this belt right here from Goodwill. And I feel like this is probably 100% leather. This thing is thick and it just feels like 
feels like leather. And I really like the gold buckle detailing on this one. So I grabbed this one, which I think is a lot more basic. And then I saw this one. And at first I wasn't going to grab it, but I kept coming back to it. And when I find myself doing that in the thrift store, I just tell myself to get it. This belt was literally $3 it would be okay if later on I didn't want it and I could literally just donate it back to Goodwill. So this one is a bit more of a statement belt. It's this really nice burgundy color, but it's like a patent leather almost, like a shiny leather. And it looks like maybe snake skin, alligator skin, you know, some sort of animal skin. Not sure if it's real or not, so I, I don't know, but I saw this and I just thought it would be a really nice statement belt because my outfits tend to be a lot more simple. So when I have a more simple, minimal outfit like the one I'm wearing right now, I would throw something like this on just to give it a bit of a pop, if you will. Just a little bit of oomph, a little bit of flavor, a little bit of seasoning, you know? All right, that is it for this fall clothing haul. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. If you did, you already know what to do. Give it a thumbs up. Comment down below and let me know if you want to see me style these pieces and show you fall outfits that you could wear all of these super nice basic fall pieces with. Make sure to subscribe. And while you're here, you might as well check out my fashion playlist to see more hauls and more styling videos. And I will see you guys in my next one. Peace.